from coast to coast. We have been uh, keeping an eye on the system, of course. Man, when you're talking about those blizzard conditions that we are seeing mm -hmm. across the, the central U.S., you do not want to be dealing with that on any day, but especially on your Christmas. Yeah, you know, you got to be careful what you wish for, right? right? Do you want that white Christmas? There is a bad side to it, and we've been dealing with that across parts of the plains. Winds just blasting some of the snow across some of these roads out here in the state of Nebraska. Uh, but people you know, out and about uh, here and there, but you clearly didn't see a whole lot of traffic action. Yeah, some people were saying we wanted a white Christmas, not a white out Christmas, which is what they were yeah. getting in some places. Well, Mother Nature turned off the holiday cheer and turned up the post Christmas. I know it's messy out there. I know it might be slow going on the roadway, so I'm going to leave a little early. Uh, might have some delays at the air, uh, airports, so maybe also give yourself a little extra time there. Just keep it in mind. Better to give yourself extra time than to be rushing. So right now we've got some of that heavy rain. We even got some storm action going on there across the higher elevations of South Carolina up and down the Appalachians. Roanoke, you've got a bit of a wet ride that I 80 corridor going to be slow going through the mountains as the roads are going to be wet. Greenville, you've got some storms around just to the south side. Those are lifting north Asheville. The heavy rain knocking on your door right now. Knoxville, maybe you heard a little bit of thunder this morning. That's what's waking you up. You can see it stretching all the way up through Virginia. We're stuck in this messy pattern. We've got a nice influx of moisture in in control of our weather across the southeast, the mid Atlantic lifting up across uh, the Allegheny region as well into DC eventually. So this is sticking around for some time. Raleigh, you're in the rain for hours. Same thing as you look out toward the outer banks, places like Charleston, you'll eventually start to see that clear out by the time we get to Wednesday. But you'll notice this isn't a quick moving sweeping through system. It's kind of hanging around this region for a couple more days and bringing us those wet roads, those rounds of rain, that kind of dreary feel that we've been seeing with that uh, cloud cover as well. So the rain still to come a large swath of one to two inches, but we could certainly see some higher amounts as you look into the higher elevations there. The Blue Ridge Mountains getting some rain out of this. It should be snow, right, this time of year, but that's not what we're getting. We've got that possibility for flash flooding from Charlottesville down through Roanoke, Hickory, Boone, you're included in this, and we're stretching it down to Greenville. Asheville, you're on the fringes of it as well. So, of course, you've got that high elevation. The rain has to go somewhere. It's going to the lower elevation. Your creeks and your streams are going to rise, any uh, that rise pretty quickly. You could see maybe some flood issues for your flood-prone places across this region. The rain is still going as we head through the afternoon into the overnight hours as well. So Asheville, you're not getting the, the snow, but you're getting the rain and it's going to continue. So keep that in mind. Those roads are going to be wet heading into late Wednesday, early Thursday for much of this region. Alex. There and went a bit farther in the west to Alex because I'm standing in a soggy Seattle where rounds of rain from atmospheric rivers are taking shape and bringing more soggy weather to the Pacific Northwest. Now skies will clear a little bit during the day, allowing you to we get out there, catch some fish or find a late present at the public market in the shadow of the Space Needle. But by night, it'll be the same song you've heard all season, more rain. Of course, you're, you know, when you think of Seattle, you do think of kind of the wet, rainy, foggy weather anyways, and this is the wet time of year. But when you're talking about atmospheric river after atmospheric river, at some point it's like, okay, enough. The good news is, though, these are mostly beneficial atmospheric river uh, actions that we're having now with this one. You can see that the numbers here over the next seven days, the atmospheric river forecast, the AR forecast, mainly ones and twos. And what that means is it's it's mostly beneficial. It's when you're starting to get up to three, four, five, where it's getting more hazard. But when you look at the one to two rating, especially one, primarily beneficial, two, mostly beneficial, just a, a bit hazardous when you're getting a little bit too much. So we will certainly take that. Here's what it looks like. We're watching this influx of moisture that's going to be moving in. You can see the break in the, uh, the uh, a lot of moisture that we're we're getting currently that we'll have for the second part of the day, but then another round of that moisture building in. So of course, high elevation snow possible, but a lot of rain is going to be the story here up and down that five corridor. The coastal communities once again, just getting pounded with the rain. And then of course, quite often is the case with these systems. You're getting the, the beach erosion. You're getting the big waves as well as the system kind of just pounds up against the coast. And that is what we're going to be having. And then of course, again, that high elevation snow coming along with it, and it just keeps going. We're 
just stuck in this. This is the prediction for how much rain we could see. This is through Sunday through the end of this week. You'll notice we'll see some higher amounts three to five inches, but this is just a broad brush forecast guys. I do think that in some places we could see some locally higher amounts out of this, although again, the rating on this atmospheric river one or two, so we're not looking at crazy, crazy amounts of rain like some of the ones that we've seen recently in the past. Some of the snow that we're going to see though, Alex will take that snowpack as we're moving through this season could see 12 to 18 inches across portions of the, the cascade. So I know the snow lovers are ready for that. Absolutely, but snow lovers love average by five to 10 degrees. Personally, I'm really not, I'm not having a terrible time with this, but I know <laughs> like personally, I'm like, that's 65. Okay. <laughs> well, I know yeah. that there are a lot of people who are like, oh, I just really want some wintry weather and I feel for them because this should be when you're getting your chilly sweater weather. So sincere. I could feel it. I, I really, I no, do no, feel I'm, that I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. Well, Christmas may be gone, and I'm also sorry about that. Traction from maybe the weather that's mm -hmm. not great outside is watching your favorite team fight for their life. Or, or <laughs> And there's never any shortage of sports. No, there's always plenty of sports. We want to hear how you deal with it, so send us your comments and pictures on threads. Most common weather-related disasters, that's according to NOAA, but 2023 saw a series of flood events overflow into uncharted territory. That's right, meteorologist Stephanie Abrams breaks it down. You know, Alex, it seems like it, it used to be kind of, you know, the one in 100 year floods that we talk about. Yeah. And now it's like every time you turn around, especially during uh, the rainier months, we've got a, a new 100 yeah. year flood. It's insane. I mean, yeah. just this isn't like 70 years ago. I mean, just five, 10 years ago, maybe. If you had a, an area pick up, yeah, yeah, it's insane. It's insane. Well, next hour, we've got one expert that says that to, to keep the preventing flood catastrophes is a unique prevention method. Sophie Abrams breaks down a plan that could protect your family from the next flood event. Don't forget about our question of the day. When the weather is Gives you some good ideas. Yeah, I mean, how about just playing with all your toys you got for Christmas? All of your Christmas toys? Yeah. That, that's the best part, right? <laughs> Especially when it's dreary outside, unless it's like a bike. Yeah, like, that's a little downer there. <laughs> but you you know, you can look forward to knowing that. When all of your bike um, accoutrements. Accoutrements, <laughs> and know what they do, yeah. <laughs> with this wintry weather and alerts like this looks like a patchwork qu quilt whenever you see this uh, you know you've got a lot going on we've got the alerts up from winter storm Donovan through Wednesday morning you can see our blizzard warnings winter storm warnings ice storm warnings winter weather advisories a little bit of it all of course the blizzard warning there in the bright pink really is what you uh, have to worry about if you were trying to get on the roadways because that is where it can become very dangerous with the limited visibility and the winds cranking and blowing around so here's our system you can see our center of low pressure that counterclockwise circulation. What you'll also notice here, these tightly packed isobars, the lines that we have showing uh, equal pressure. That means it's really, really windy. So those winds are still cranking as we've got a mixed bag of precipitation from rain, uh, sleet, freezing rain and snow. Here are some of our current observations. You can see the gusts in Colby at 37 miles an hour. But look at that Cheyenne. You're at 22 degrees and you're gusting up to 49 miles per hour. North Platte 28 for you with those gusts around 37 as well. We're seeing icy conditions in Bismarck up through Grand Forks. That is concerning because of course you don't want that ice accretion. We've been seeing that for a little while now and you're still pretty far from that freezing mark. So if you keep getting the precipitation, you're going to keep getting that ice as well. Meanwhile, we've got snow falling in Pierre Alexandria. You've got the rain sitting at 40 degrees. The ice still to come uh, a tenth to a quarter of an inch here across portions of the 94 corridor up through 29 Grand Forks. You are in that. So those roads are going to be slick. Let's put this into motion for you so you can see what we're looking at through the day. That winter weather continuing from Pierre down through North Platte. Goodland, you're getting into a little bit of that as well with those winds continuing to crank. So certainly that possibility for a power outage or two. The snow still to come through tomorrow, so we're not done with this. Hours of snow still falling five to eight more inches on top of what you've already gotten across much of South Dakota down through Nebraska. We're getting into this as we look over toward Kansas City as well, and that's why we're saying uh, airports like MCI could be dealing with some delays. The highest totals, though, that are still to come going to be uh, along the corridor through Rapid City. You can see eight inches certainly possible 
So we're not talking about just a little bit of snow. Although it was a small snow footprint of yeah. who was seeing it, where you got the winter weather impacts, we're talking big impacts. Yeah, so, I mean, look at those winds gusting. Yeah, 49 mile per hour gust in Cheyenne. That is certainly mm -hmm. enough to cause some power outages. Yeah, no doubt about yeah. it. Well, on the flip side, it's not the wintry weather, but the, the wet weather that we're right. finding in the uh, I, you know, I like a, a little above average temperature here or there during late December. <laughs> you might be ready uh, for some actual December weather because the, the warmth has been around and it's continuing to stick around. So today we've got more than or around 174 million people above average with your afternoon high above average tomorrow. That number actually goes up to 179 million. Now the forecast highs for today, you can see the, di the difference here. 65 in Raleigh, lower 50s in D.C., Atlanta in the mid 60s Jackson upper 50s for you so we are looking at those above average temperatures really uh, especially as you look to the north so this is tomorrow morning this is when you're waking up so your morning temperature tomorrow morning for your Wednesday is 20 to 30 degrees above average from where you should be a lot of our morning lows in places like Buffalo uh, up through northern Minnesota the morning lows tomorrow morning are going to be warmer than your afternoon high typically should be. So that's a big deal. So our low temperature forecast in say DC 48 degrees for your Wednesday morning, the old record 51. So we might not be uh, tying or breaking that one, but in Sault Ste. Marie, the forecast 39 degrees, the old record for the record warm morning 33 blasting past that almost 100 year old record. So yeah, we're really seeing some warmth that we haven't seen in quite some time in some of these areas. So for tomorrow forecast highs in the upper 50s there in DC, upper 40s in Cincinnati, St. Louis, you're in the lower 40s there. So we still have those above average temperatures sticking around around the Great Lakes region, New England into the new Northeast and portions of the Mid-Atlantic. And again, Alex, Thursday morning, we're looking at record warmth for some of these cities. The forecast in Philly, 50 degrees. The old record warmth for the morning, 49 degrees. So going to see some records fall Thursday morning too. Sure are. Well, don't forget our question. Look at uh, the roads in Evergreen, Colorado, outside the Denver metro area. It doesn't look so bad. You can see it's a snow around, but traffic looks like it's moving just fine. Yeah, not yeah. at all. Well, of course, with the winter forecast looks rough and you, you still have to hit the road. You need to be prepared for the worst. That's right. Meteorologist Dr. Rick Nab shows us what to keep in your winter car kit. Now, I did. It really does. Uh, no shortage of sports here over the coming days here going through.